Hello everyone, and welcome to Mabinogi, where we are continuing through Seer Dungeon, assuming I can get a hold of my alarm, uh, oh yeah, I mean it is an alarm, um, I was just going to say timer, could not get a hold of my timer, also that took me five minutes to pull two herbs, that was really sad I'm going wow I feel so different on this character because she has no power to like do anything with herbs she has no herbalism skill whatsoever boom and get that charge skill from uh, using it on an archer Actually, is that even a thing yet? No. Yeah, kind of. Actually, it is, it looks like. Because it just uh, didn't register in my other... I'm not getting it from um, just charging in and hitting. So... That's interesting. Yeah, I've already got the attack and hit. Oh, I need the uh, block a long range attack and attempt to block a long range attack. Oh. Windmill and Sword Mastery can both be advanced. How about that? That's cool. I'm not going to bother with that hairband. One, it wouldn't look good on me. And two, I already have one. I don't know if it's in my dressing room or if a character's wearing it. But I know they already have a hairband of some kind. So... Come on, attack, please. Tech blocks. That said, you do have to be a decent way through the animation um, before it lets you move. I'm noticing. So. But you don't have to wait all the way till the end though, and that's what matters, because that is just that much more time before you can attack. Or less time in this case. Boom! Less time it takes before you can attack again, and that is important. Oi! I'm just, like, tired all of a sudden. <laughs> I may have to, uh, end off after this episode because, wow! I just, like, got really tired all of a sudden. Like, my eyes are really droopy here. <laughs> like, really heavy and droopy. So, it's weird because, I mean... I'm, Like, I'm sitting here drinking stuff, and I actually just had a little caffeine to try to help me wake up, but so I was like, oh, I need to do a little bit of recording, so maybe I'll drink just a, a tiny bit of caffeine, and, like, I'm drooping. Which I find really odd, considering. Cool. Get two I get two keys now. And I will go back for these ones, just because I actually get to keep these. I didn't see any point in, you know, he, uh, going back for them on Moors when you don't get any chance to keep them or anything. Hello? Oh, right. 
I told you I was tired. I had completely forgotten I was in an orb room. <laughs> so I was like, hello, where's the remaining enemies here? The door hadn't opened yet. And I remembered, oh yeah, orbs. I actually already have one of those too. Really? Where's the key for this one? There it is. I was gonna say they three groups and they always drop one key each, so that should have been three keys. And it was indeed three keys. Yay, got some gold off that one. Yay, got some more gold off that one. I got bad guys off that one. I bet you that you could figure out which one's good and which one's bad. And I use that to like... Um... You know, you come to the sense in like a second time when you get to get to here and it's just like yeah I know which one to avoid I don't know it is right the the dungeon is random but I feel like the treasure chest rooms like that aren't like they are but they're not like I feel like those aren't exactly random so, I don't know how to explain what I'm trying to say. I probably would know. I probably would know if I wasn't so dang tired. It's unfortunate because I have a Minecraft thing I was going to do after this episode was over. And I have a mod pack that I wanted to play. I was like, oh, hey, that would be fun, you know? Record that. But if I'm, like, dropping down tired, I don't know. I don't know if I'll be able to get to it. Oh, <laughs> baby. I mean, I do have to get up and go eat something after this episode is over. So, after this episode is over, I might, um, like if I'm still feeling up to it after eating, I might go get, I might play, um, the Minecraft mods that I have. So... Okay. I'm paying attention to that because I am. Wee! That was annoying. It's so odd though that lately I've been so like dead tired here. I like a gathering knife. I think this is how I ended up with my gathering knife last time, too. I ended up picking it up out of... Nope. <sighs> well, I don't think I would ever use that to fight. Um, that gives me minus 12 damage. So, nah. Not doing that. Is it just me, or did we only encounter one orb room after that treasure chest room came up? Maybe both of these up here are orb rooms? Nope. Hmm. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I just missed part where I fought and collected a bunch of orb. I don't know what I just tried to say. 
I am sleep drunk. Boom. I really am. Like, oh my god, I actually feel really tired. Let's pick up the gold. More herbs, so all base herbs too, so I could actually like get some experience from this, some of those. Oh crap. Mill skeletons and golem. Okay, I just hunted skeletons for the first time. I love that the golem's like, I have to hide, even though you've been able to see me this entire time. anything to heal with, do I? <laughs> oh, this is unfortunate. Yep, I never actually learned any kind of healing magic. Dead! <coughs> Luckily, I have a balloon, which I had completely forgotten about. Probably would have remembered if I wasn't so dang freaking tired. Oh my god, I hate this. I hate fighting golems because they absolutely insist on rubber banding me by making me do that like skip back when they punch me thing. Really annoying. Oh my god, just die. <laughs> Stop resisting just wound and just die. All right, jeez. All right. Yay, Book of Revenge, Volume 2. Time to leave the dungeon. Awesome. All right. Back off to Crystal, I think. Uh, ooh. Quantine Smash Skill Training. That's something. Uh, reach Smash Rank 9, I guess. Okay. Eight. I'll give you something that will help with your training. A whole whopping one ability point. Woo. Whoops. Locking things over here. I'm like trying to resituate myself. Because it's cold. Extinct. There's a guild called Extinct. How about that? I want to make sure I'm going back to Crystal before I do that. Yes. I kind of figured I was. Because the Fomorian book, so it's written in Fomor. Or Fomorian. I don't know, what is the Fomor language called? Oi. I do not know. Oh, I'm hungry. I'm hungry and I'm tired and oh my god. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I get uh, food and stuff here pretty soon, so... So there really was another volume. I'm impressed. 
Didn't think you'd be able to find it. The translator's book is promised. I'll let you know as soon as I'm finished. Yay! And as well, autocomplete, right? Yeah. That's what this is. Literally, what that was, was it telling me that it was complete. Um, I don't think Kana's out of her mission yet. No. She's still got another hour and 53 minutes. That's not going to happen anytime soon. Alright. I don't think there's anything else for me to do while I just sit here and wait, unfortunately. Uh, like, all my quests require me to go do something. It isn't like, uh, go talk to this person or whatever quest in here. Not really. Hmm. That is a good question. Hmm. All right, well, I guess we'll just uh, stand here and wait, I guess. As long as I just don't fall asleep waiting because I'm bored. <laughs> Is there anything I can do on my homestead? Not really. I've only got one homestead seed. And that technically is enough to do something, but not really much of anything. I didn't do it. I just didn't do it initially. Because I kind of wanted my homestead to level up first. I don't know. <sighs> I am actually like super tired. Like really tired. Like if you've noticed, feel like I'm, I'm having a ooh, lack of commentary. That's probably why. You must be here for the translation of the next volume. Here, I think you should read it yourself. It's better than having me summarize it for you. I said, I can't believe what's written in there. What is written in there? I believe I read the first one. So I will read the second one. Um, why can't this beautiful world be ours? Why do these wicked humans have to claim ownership? Why does God ignore the treacherous acts of these humans? I'd rather die in a battle against humans than kneel down and ask for mercy from them. I'll be keeping my dignity intact as a proud creation of God. Those that are reading the second cry of revenge will always follow the goddess of war. The gods hear our cries of rage and see our effort to bring out or to bring order to this world, and have bestowed the blessing of the goddess of war to protect us. The humans are now the only ones in the humans are now the only ones entitled to blessings from God. Do not pin my cry for a revenge as a cry from a human being. The life of Mors as a human being has ceased long ago. The life of Mors these days for a servant of, of the goddess. And a brother of Mors in hopes of demolishing the human kinds. Hey, I can read, really. Hey, hey, actually, what, what is my timer at? I'm just at one minute, okay? Never mind. Do not dismiss my cry of revenge as futile. Rather, hear out one brother who is willing to serve the goddess, crossing the boundaries of race. Second cry of revenge. Ah, that's the title. Humans emerged victorious in the Battle of Moitura, but they are in fact ignoring the truth. The truth is that the victory was a glorified name for betrayal and contempt. The compliment ignorance to word others. Yeah. Their, their, com, their complete ignorance towards others have reached to the point where they believed it was the truth. They are the true messengers of God. In human eyes, even God's greatest creation, nature, is beneath them. Even so, nature always works as a supporting cast, always blending in harmony with the surroundings. 
much like us from Moa's. Nature believes coexisting with humans, even as they are continuously destroyed in the hands of humans, is a role bestowed upon them by gods. This unfortunately only serves to continue the rampage by these humans. We Moors are here to bring the glory back to nature, and our best way to do so is to open its eyes to the truth. Truth about the sins the humans have committed against the nature with no remorse whatsoever. It's our job to awaken the nature and deliver it from the humans' abuse. We, know, we now know that the eye-opening scroll, everything from a deer to a strand of grass, is starting to see the abuse they've taken and are describing the humans as a, or despising the humans as a result. Nature is now aware of the sinister plot of the humans. Instead of being one of nature, the humans split from the nature and commit all the despicable acts in the name of serving God. Even so, humans are completely oblivious to this and continue to extract things from nature, foolishly believing in their intelligence. One day, nature will no longer be so tolerant and will bring wrath to the humans. That day will come. Nature isn't the only one turning its back on humans. Even the gods who provide the humans with divine protection have gradually turned their looks on them. Even Gas Morgan, who was responsible for lending her hand to the humans and thus blocked the invitations from us for more, from, yeah, have, the oh my god, I'm so tired, actually, <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm trying to read this, but, like, my eyes are just, like, not focusing, <laughs> um, they have started to understand our values and beliefs and have helped us in recent times, the goddess has turned itself into a statue to protect the path of the humans, but now she's broken the seal and has let us from Moors walk the path of the humans. Never forget the support of the goddess, who has opened the doors for us to return to Aaron, the place we shall reclaim. Think about the fact that a staunch advocate of the humans, or that a staunch advocate of the humans, have turned her back on them. That's quite powerful. And this is the time where all of God's creations have turned their backs on the humans and the gods are creating our path for a brighter future. It's now time for the Fomors to clear out human, uh, clear out the humans, every single one of them, once and for all. These humans won the war they should not have won and have wielded terror on everything else that stood in their egomaniacal path. They will be brought to swift justice. Remember, the fact that the Gauss Morgan is not on, now on our side. Under her guidance, we will successfully destroy the humans that the man st that may stay stand that may stand in our path and reach the holy land of Tirn and Og first, opening the gates for us. It's really hard to read when I'm this tired, I'm this hungry. And I have really bad rating comprehension to begin with. Do not live the life engulfed in thoughtlessness, selfish desires, but rather live the peaceful, harmonious life. That's the life we'll be striving for as we fight these humans. Goddess Morgan is now with us. The fight is not strictly for revenge, for revenge but for our quest to bring light and order back to this world. Once the order is back in store, we will prosper and live healthy lives. To those that are serious about eliminating the humans in this world, read the next volume. Oh my god, I didn't think I was going to get through that. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go end this episode here, and then I'm going to get something to eat, and hopefully that will help with my wooziness. Um... If not, then I'll just see you guys in my next recording session. Um, not that you'll probably notice any difference because it'll be up the very next day. Um, so with that, I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please feel free to subscribe. Feel free to check the video description down below for a link to the playlists so you can get caught up on any episodes you might have missed. 
and I'll see you all next time. See you later.